What's up boys, I'll be showing you guys what you guys have to be doing right now in NBA 2K23 because there's a way to get a crap ton of XP right now that you guys have to be taking advantage of that you guys probably don't know about. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe and I'm not going to waste you guys' time here. We're just going to hop in and talk about the best ways to level up right now because it's seriously really, really glitchy right now. So right over to the middle of the map right about here. You guys want to go to the middle of the map right here and once we get here, I want you guys to head over past the ante up and head to down over here and this isn't the only method by the way that i'm going to be that i'm going to be talking about in today's video but head over here to the theater because in the theater right now there's a way to get double xp if you guys have not seen this but again if you guys already know about this this will not be the only level xp method in this video but there is one event right now in the theater called double or nothing Pretty much what this is, it is a 3v3 game, and as you guys can see right there, it says winners earn two times XP and losers get zero. So as long as you guys don't suck balls at the game and have a good squad together, and if you guys are even, if you guys are winning with randoms, if you guys win, you guys get double XP. That's huge. So that is definitely a very, very good way to get XP right now. Also, we have like the green light challenge as well in NBA 2K right now. But if you guys are using your double XP coins while doing the double or nothing theater challenge game, that's going to be a crap ton of XP for you guys. So highly recommend doing that if you guys are able to and as long as you guys don't suck at the game but if you guys do suck at the game i have some couple other methods for you guys as well so when you guys are playing your games focus on your teammate grade teammate grade is one of the number one things that you guys have to be paying attention to and that is what affects a lot of your xp so definitely pay attention to your teammate grade guys who that get an a plus teammate grade will get a crap ton more of level xp compared to guys that have like a also make sure that you guys do your daily wheel spin every single day because there is a chance that you guys get double xp you guys can also get up to 250,000 vc which is huge and again you guys can get those double xp tokens which is huge when it comes to getting higher and higher levels now if you guys are looking to get xp by playing the game one thing that you guys can do is play the wreck you guys can get a crap ton of xp when you're playing the wreck, as long as you guys have a good squad together and you guys are winning games. If you guys win games, it's going to take you guys like 100 games and you guys are level 40. The wreck is the number one people that people are leveling up right now. Like you guys can see all these different guys in the wreck right now. He's he's level 32. This guy over here is level 40. These are all guys in the wreck right now. That guy's a gold right there. So all these guys are like level 30 plus for the majority of the part. And that's because they're playing the wreck. You don't have to have like a full squad together or anything. But it's good. if you guys have two friends, hopefully you guys have two friends that have 2k. If you guys play games with them in the wreck, you guys will be able to pretty progress pretty freaking fast. But like I said, I heard if you guys play 100 games, you guys can hit level 40. So... It's going to be awesome, especially if you guys use XP coins, by the way, while doing this. It's a really, really good way to get some XP by playing the wreck. So get some friends together, play some wreck games, and uh, hopefully you guys get up to level 40 or like, you know, higher and higher levels. If you guys don't want to play wreck, though, another thing that you guys can do is play 2v2 games. 2v2 games, if you guys get a good teammate grade, is another great way to get XP even though you guys aren't playing the wreck so if you guys want to play the wreck hop over to your affiliation or whatever you guys are playing hop into a 2v2 game and you guys will be able to make a lot of xp doing that assuming you guys get a good teammate grade so it's another very very good way to get some xp if you guys don't feel like playing the wreck because i know a lot of people don't like playing the wreck but uh, it just depends on your teammate too hope you guys have a buddy you guys can play 2v2 with so 2v2s and wreck are by far some of the best ways to do it i don't recommend playing 3v3s obviously you guys are going to get like a higher teammate grade and get more xp for playing 2v2s because there's one less player on each of your teams so it's a really really good way to get some xp despite playing the rest you guys are also paying attention to your events so hop over to season events right here green light isn't necessarily a good one when it comes to xp it gets you guys actually 25,000 vc for the event if we hit the community goal but uh, otherwise there's a couple other events and all that different stuff that you guys can do to get some extra xp so like dime time dunk fest some of these will give you guys two uh, times two xp club 2k gives you guys times two batch progression so if you guys are looking for vc if you guys are looking for xp always pay attention to these events and partake in every single one of these events because this will get you guys a lot of xp it'll get you guys a lot of vc all that different stuff so again club 2k though that's like every single week that'll get you guys times two batch progression got the mobile one grand prix which i believe gives you guys xp coins uh for doing that so mobile one grand prix is another really really good way to get xp coins because you know that gets you guys xp coins if you guys hit the goal if you guys have the willing the uh, winning affiliation but uh, dime time i'm not sure if that gives you two times xp i'm not sure what the bonus is on that one uh dunk fest all that different stuff man so there's a lot of just pay attention to your events because there's a lot of xp to be made from there there's a lot of vc to get times two badge points all that different stuff but also if you guys partake in some of these events by the way like literally two weeks ago we had double 
XP when it came to playing the wreck. That's how a lot of people got a lot of their levels. You guys can get four times XP, by the way, if you guys use a double XP token. So if you guys are partaking in those events and using a double XP token, you guys can get like four times the XP that you normally would. So very, very good way to get some XP right there. Always use your XP tokens, by the way, before the next season comes up. Definitely recommend doing that. We don't have too much longer in this season, by the way. I think we have like a week or two left, if I'm not wrong. We're getting really, really close to hitting season two. So make sure you guys progress as soon as you guys possibly can and play that theater event right now because that will get you guys a lot of XP as long as you guys win those games. So just make sure you guys win those games because if you guys lose more than you win, uh, you guys will actually not be getting really any XP at all. But if you guys win more than you lose, you guys will be able to get your XP obviously a lot faster. But otherwise, there's things like double XP tokens inside of the level path at level 28. That's going to be huge for you guys. Um, and again, you guys get four times XP, by the way, if you guys play those theater games. So that's awesome. Uh, two hour XP coin also at 37. That'll help you guys reach like 38, 39, and eventually level 40, which, guys, which will get you guys the four seater golf cart that's amazing uh really great honestly season one reward i think that's awesome right there i get to have your buddies driving around the city with a golf cart i think that's awesome but uh plus one badge point by the way that's another thing a lot of people will be wanting at level 39 but so there's a lot of good rewards honestly on this path right here some good some not so great so you know like an mj backpack i'm not really paying attention to that or dr disrespect uh you know sunglasses i'm not really paying attention to those but you know clear face max too you guys can get that as well but there's a lot of good things that you guys pick up from the um, from the war path and you guys don't have too much longer to do so so you know grind this out if you guys are able to play the wreck play the theater all that different stuff that i've shown you guys in today's video get those double xp tokens and uh, hopefully you guys are able to hit level 40 or at least you know get up here to whatever tier you guys want to get so if you guys want the uh the suit get up to 38 uh but definitely try to get 39 if you guys are able to at least for that plus one badge point that'll be a huge for your bit i think that pretty much covered everything but if you guys go to your quest and then go to season you do like the wreck warrior quest the triple threat the walking bucket the wreck rack all this different stuff this will actually get you guys season level xp as you guys can see over there for the reward so season level xp uh right there right there as well walking bucket wreck rat this will get you guys a crap ton of season level xp so another really really good way to get some xp and uh yeah definitely recommend doing that so final recap here teammate grade extremely important have as high as a teammate grade as you guys can possibly get play the theater in order to do that event that will get you guys double xp as long as you guys win 2v2s are actually very very good for xp i don't think i said that earlier but make sure you guys play 2v2s if you guys want it's way better than 3v3s also if you guys are good at rec that'll be amazing get at least two other friends play the rec win 100 games you guys will hit level 40 at least you should and uh, you guys will definitely get like one to two levels per rec game in the early couple levels. Uh, XP coins, extremely important. Make sure you guys use your XP coins. That'll get you guys a crap ton of XP. Play the events that have level XP, double level XP. That's obviously a pretty self-explanatory way to get double XP. Um, also, if you guys play those events and use a double XP token, that will get you guys four times XP. So that's actually pretty freaking huge. Spin the wheel also for double XP tokens. You guys can spin the wheel every single day in order to attempt to get double XP tokens or even 250,000 VC. And then also look at season rewards here and you guys can see all the different stuff that you guys get because we don't have too much longer uh before you know season two comes around here so make sure you guys are getting the levels that you guys want before the season ends please subscribe to the channel right here for some more nba 2k 23 content also check out this video up here that youtube's recommended for you start binge watching my videos